you can't even you can't even imagine what we went through. Yeah. But other than that, I think that's it. I started at the age of twelve. My first jail time was three days at the age of twelve. People in America in Sumter County has no idea what we went through because they didn't know. They did not know, and, and no one can talk about that stockade but these girls. I knew that was back then. Okay, can we go in? Yes, ma'am, it's open. Okay. You go in that way, you go in this way, yeah. Okay. We didn't go in that way. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. In the city, it was a, during that time, was a, a very violent civil rights movement um, that started and we were protesting as children. My grandmother started taking me to mass meetings out in the country and going with her, I became very concerned about the issues. Not being able to eat in restaurants, not being able to drink out of the same water fountain, those type things were just injustices. I was told by the mass meeting. And I asked, what is a mass meeting? It's a gathering of people. We're going to come together and we're going to talk about the situation that's going on right here in Sumter County, America, Georgia. I attended mass meetings for over a year before I, you know, went to jail. And how old were you in 63? I was 13. On the day that I was arrested, uh, we was marching at the uh, Martin Theater. There was a white side at the Martin Theater and there was a black side. They refused us to, of tickets to purchase. Evidently, the young lady who was selling the tickets must have called the police department. All of a sudden, we had a rush of policemen coming down to that area. This wasn't here. It was old. The bathroom wasn't here. No, this it was one toilet back here on the side, and then it was a different shower here. Mm. But this was our home. I, I joined the uh, demonstration over at Allen Chapel. When we got there, we knelt down and prayed in front of the police station. And when we let, knelt down to pray, uh, Chief Chambers came out and asked us to disperse, and we did not. So they herded us like cattle. I thought we were going to jail in Americas. No, they sent us out of town to Dawson, Georgia transfer truck, a 16-wheeler, waiting for us at the back of the jail. And they put us on that dog transfer truck, and we had to stand up all the way to Dawson. But, but the moment they closed that back door, it was dark. I couldn't see, we couldn't see one or the other in that truck. This was our home. Mm. This was our home. Mm -hmm. For 45 more days. This was our home. This is the first time I've been back. This is my first time back down here. Even when Essence Magazine came, I didn't come. Me? What's it like? That's all right, baby. That's all right. It's genuine. Mm. Parents knew that we was in Dawson, but now you're moving us from Dawson. Nobody know where we are. We didn't even know where we were. So we were pushed in this dirty stockade, old stockade that, that had been closed down out soon for years and years with no facility, no bed, and um, no water, no commode, no running commode. We slept on the hard, cold cement floor. When we got there, we were put in a sweat box overnight with a 12-year-old there. Can't understand it. You know, like you go to prison and they, what they call it, when they put you in the hole? Right. That's what this was. It drained all the water from our bodies. And when we walked out, the floor was full. There was a Wait. puddle of water on the floor. Only one guard, an older gentleman, 
Uh, we call him Pops. His last name we found out was Mr. Countryman that wore bib overalls. One of the girls was so small that the uh, God would take her out. He would take her over in the room with him and feed her. Sand. Sand. Sandra, okay, Sand. Sandra. He would feed Sand and give her a little stuff and she'd come back and share. Yeah. She was the youngest out of the four, 15 girls. Who was that, your mother? Sandra Mansfield. Did she pass on? She passed. Oh, she did. She passed June the 25th of 2012. All I know, they were in here 45 days, though. Did you know someone named Bubba? Bubba? No. He drove the photographer out here. I remember uh, her telling me about a man named Danny Lyon. What did he that do? He came and took pictures of the girls. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it. Yeah. When I first came back, I still didn't shed no tears. But my cousin Sandra. We just grew up knowing about it, but we used to ride down here on weekends. She'll show us the building, but we never came in the inside. She come out there and she drive down here and sit on the lot out there. And the workers used to come out there and check and make sure she was all right. She said she feel like a piece of her was always left here. They said they sung songs, they prayed, and that's how they got through. And high school, ninth grade, high school, sorry. Lee County Court. There we go. Hey, how you doing? You remember the Freeman girls? What's up? You remember the Freeman girls? Freeman Aria Freeman? Oh, no, look, they got my picture. Oh, okay. well, you know that she has a discrepancy here with the number of girls that be in that stock game? Sure. Do you know there were over 33 of us? No, yeah, right. I know all about Yeah. But uh, I was one of them, and my sister was one of them, uh, Deloach, and Henrietta Fuller, and those names are not listed here, and we, we were there. Sure, sure. And you can't change history, and court documents show. out of the stockade. School had already started. Nobody greeted us or had any kind of reception when we got out. Everybody went back to their own in, little environment. Right. So but we never talked to each other about it. We never said a word. We Nobody ever said anything to make us feel like, you know, they were gonna help us come up and come up to par. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's just something that looked like it was just closed. It was just closed and none of us, it was, it, shut down. it was just, everybody just shut down. And my mom would just cry, cry, cause she was so worried about me. And she, as she would try to talk and everything, she would talk, say, ask me something, I just run out of the house. In fact, I go get under the house. We want this to serve as a good lesson for our children all over the world, not just here locally. In peaceful civil rights protests, those girls were taken to Dawson, Georgia, before being brought to Leesburg. And I don't see any other Leesburg stuff girls. But they okay. The, the 15, these are stockade girls. No, the 15, these are stockade girls. Okay. The 15 girls are all. No, those, are the ones, those are the ones from Dawson who walked me in. Of the 15, these are really? stockade girls. Put it on the back of your thing. History is a slippery beast. I probably spent, I'm probably spending more time speaking here than I actually did when I was 22 years old. I mean, I might have spent 10 minutes here. And the question is raised, how many people were actually in this combat? And Shirley said correctly, count Well, those are the people here when I was there. It looks like historically, and people can keep searching this, this was actually a holding pen. And they were grabbing young black girls and just sticking them here. There were some people who might have been picked up somewhere, spent a night here, and the parents got them out. 
So there were other people here, but they weren't standing there that day. There, there probably were women who were put in this place. They were not here when I, when I made that photograph. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right, ready? Are we ready? ready. All right here we go. Squeeze in tight. Now, Miss Heath Sands is already read it. Did everybody hear the marker when it was being read? No. So, I was looking for the as, as a life's work, how does this rank? Um, it's it was a good one. <laughs> this was a good one. Hopefully, it's first of many, you know. This was just the beginning of my life. Do you feel better about this day now that you heard what he said? Not because the other people want to get up there and say it was only 20. I got 15 girls. What am I losing Everything. by w without the inclusion of your story in this history as it's as we're now curating it and presenting You're it? You're losing the, the, the wealth of the story because it was so many girls. So that's telling me right now that this is a was a bigger problem. It was a bigger issue. It wasn't just the women in the stockade. It was that's a right. whole movement in America. Right. I was 11 years old. I was just a kid. I didn't know. I didn't understand the full volume, but my own brother had been in prison for three months in Dawson. And so we are, the, the, the thing I hope you let people know is that this is not unique. Okay, it's just iconic because of the documentation that we have. <laughs> and so we went over there and talked to him too. Hey, pops, hey, pops, okay. such and such and such. So you left and the room. So I pretty much went on way on the other side of the room. Well, well you could the, see the room me. is, I don't see any doors, but, but people looking out the back there, I believe. They, but they have, space. yeah, they have, we modeled that, yes. Thank you.